welcome back. Today is Sunday, October 25th, and we are on the Lost Tube number 57. We have a lot to go over today, but not a lot of stitching because I still have to stitch today to get homework finished. So I'll show you what I didn't do. I did not work on Magnificent Wizard, and I have not worked on Serenity and Endy, but we'll get there. This is going to be our stitch with me. And I'm sorry for the lighting, but for some reason this last week there's been no sun. None. So I'm using my stitchy light and we'll go from there. What I have done is a lot. Let me, because I already forgot. Uh -huh. Let me just do math real fast. Maybe. Uh -huh. I put in 5,257 stitches. On what? Dragon kin. Look, it's the wing. So excited I couldn't stop. To the point where I was almost tempted to say, I'll take the penalty stitches and I'm just going to stitch on that. But no. No, other projects need love too. But next week, all four prompts, Dragonkin. I want to see more of that wing. So, sorry, I need to put grease or something on my Lowry stand. It's getting a little squeaky. So there's that. Um, lots to go over. Okay. Did I say my name's Amy? And welcome to my world of random... And crazy because welcome because there's a lot of new people here I'm super excited to have you here I am so close to 2,000 subbies what that's crazy crazy so in a good way okay let's see those are demonstrates I'll do those towards the end um, I kind of explained homework not really because this week was a little different meaning that there's a spell in the book and it's all about the teacups that they use the three sisters and we have to choose three of the spells and make them fit for us to stitch on and then you have to tell who you would put the spell on and the last prompt is did it work so I chose the three um, let me set this down. Stay, pages, stay. Fill the cup with water and the eye of an egg, and you will see the person who you're cursing the spell on. And I chose Gothel because no one really knows where she is ever. So we're just sneaking around. So I want to know where she's at. Um, fill the cup with what frightens them the, mo the most to give them nightmares. I chose Maleficent because Dragon Against Dragon can be pretty scary because it's something that doesn't run away and it's more of a challenge to fight. The third one was throw the cup in fire and send them to Hades. Now, the dragons throw fire. So there's that. And I chose... Who did I choose? I think I chose... Oh, and the last one's for the Evil Queen. Not sure I said that. I chose the Evil Queen because I figured that one will work more than any of the others. And the Evil Queen goes to Hades. So there's that. That's homework. I had questions about what am I talking about with homework? I try to explain. I'm not good at explaining things. So work with me. I'm on Facebook. And in Facebook, there's a lot of, I mean, millions of different stitchy groups that you can join. And some of them are just show what you're working on. Some of them are, we have lists that you can follow throughout the year. 
and some have homework. So three of the ones that I'm in is Magical Stitches and Literature. So this is my main group. This is the one you hear me talk about all the time. So they do weekly homework, they do monthly extra credit, and then they do like, right now because we're in the Disney theme, we're opening places to the park. So there's no real timeline on those it's to the end of the year and you have to put in however many stitches you have to put in to help the group open the park. There's also um, building of hotels and resorts on your park um, and those are all year long projects. So that's the main one that I'm focused on. The next one is full coverage fanatics. Now they have a lot of different things too and they just released all of their information for next year and I'm super excited to be a little more active in that group. Um, there are, there's one, shoot, I think it's 21,000 stitches in one project, so that's a year long. Um, I don't remember if they're doing parks like they did this year where they had 25 parks and you have to put in 4,000 stitches into one project um, and there's 25 there so many different things that they're doing next year and I'm excited to join all the things for next year. The third one is semi-sane. Now I'm not very active in that group and I need to be more active in that group because now they have rules that if you're not active you're out and it's a closed group now so apply anyway because you never know when they're accepting new people or when they're going to take a few people in. Apply for it and see if you can get in. You have to be vouch vouched for um, so you have to know somebody who's either in the group or I think someone that the, a lot of people in the group already know. You have to have someone who can say that you're involved in the stitching community. Um, so there's that one. Uh, that one I want to get more active in. This year was hard for me because a lot of their things were, um, how do I explain, like their, their alphabet soup the ABCs, I didn't have any of that because, well, I only had so many projects and you can't do penalty stitches for those. Um, but I like their games that they do. I love the Monopoly game that they have, or Stitch-opoly. Um, the Needleworker Sweep, the one they did, I think in August. Was that August? I don't know. The months are all blurring together at this point. Um, that's where I got a lot of my stitching in for Crazy Cat Chloe. I finished her whole face because of that. Um, so you have a lot of good games in there and I enjoy doing them. Those are my three. There's a few other ones that I'm lurking around and looking at. Um, the Crystal Academy is one of them, but I'm not sure. I think I'm going to stay with the three for now. I can always join later. That's the wonderful thing about groups is you can, you can always join. And I like the Magical Stitches and I like, um, the full coverage fanatics because mm, different reasons so magical stitches allows me to pick three or four different projects to work on for the week right full coverage fanatics makes me focus on one project and getting a lot of progress in that one project semi sane to me is a lot of fun it's it's just a lot of fun so not that the other two are not fun don't take that the wrong way but this one to me is a game and I like the challenge of the games that they have so all three satisfy my stitchy needs and keep me focused and motivated to keep going and get more in on my stitching, which I'm going to need help with a lot next year because a lot. Okay, so that's the homework. I know someone had questions about what am I talking about with homework. So Magical Stitches is where I get the homework from. Um, what else we have? Oh, hang in with my peeps. So this week, okay. I'm going to tell you a blooper. Are you ready? Last week, I told you three people that I, I was hanging out with. And in my notes, you know, in the little down arrow, the thing down below, I put down the wrong name. So, Nadine, her name is now in there. And the other name that's in there that is Morgana. I never remember it. I think it's Mor Morgana Stitches. Moon 75? 
Morgana, Morgana Stitches Moon 75. Morgana Moon Stitches. I think it's Morgana Moon Stitches 75. Her name's Leanne, and I, she's wonderful. I love everything she stitches. Um, I'll put her name down below again this week because it's the right week. You put her name in my book. Please hold. Leanne. Okay. So I'll have four this week because last week Leanne wasn't supposed to be there and we put her there anyway because I just watched her video and I must have had her on the brain when I was telling the husband what names to put in and I forgot to put in Nadine's even though I mentioned her name. So this week we have Leanne. I think it's Morgana Moon Stitches 75. Could be wrong. It's happened before. The correct name will be down below. Along with these other people, I met someone named Amy. There's a lot of us. We're popping up everywhere. Um, her channel name, she just started, is Sprinkle Steen underscore Stitches. And I think she just put up another video today, so I'll have to check that out. The third, because now it's technically three people, is Scott. Scott is in Spain, and his channel name is Stitches in Spain. I love his energy. I just, I just want to pull it into a vacuum and then use it when I need it because, oh my gosh, he's so much energy and I love it. When I first, when I watched his very first one, I thought, uh oh, it's in Spanish. I can't understand this, but I'm going to keep going. And luckily for me, because he starts speaking English and everything's fine. He's wonderful. He shows some of his old stitching, which kudos to him for even having that because I, I don't even know what my first stitch was now that I think about it. No, no, I do. I think it was my sister-in-law's wedding anniversary gift, but I don't have that. So he has all of his stitching and they're, they're beautiful. Why are men such beautiful stitchers? Does anyone ever think about that? Cause there's a lot. And I'm about to mention another one who you get to see really up close and his name's Phil. Now, in his videos, I think he has maybe two or three where you actually get to see him and hear him talk about what he's doing and his, I think it's monthly wrap up. Does he do them once a month? I don't remember. I've watched them all back to back. But his channel is Stitchin, no G, so it's S-T-I-T-C-H-I-N space grandpa. And he does a lot of full coverage projects. And he has some that are like the diagonal stitching. And he has some that are cross country stitching. So he stitches both ways and they're both beautiful. Um, so check him out. Now his Stitch With Me videos are with music. And when I first started watching Flosstube, I thought, oh, I don't really like those. I'd rather you talk to me, blah, 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 you know, that sort of thing. But his channel's really growing on me. I just love to listen to his music and stitch with him. And every once in a while, I'll look up to see how far he's gotten. And it's kind of nice having the music in the background. It's kind of nice. So if you're okay with the music in the background, please go check him out. Um, all four beautiful stitching. Um, let's see. We have, should we talk about what I bought this week? Cause, okay, but in my defense, first off, this first one is free and it's Jan Hicks fault because Jan Hicks, but she really, she didn't do anything this time. Let me see if I can find it. y'all. It's Nora Corbett. Corbett or Corbett? Corbett? I think it's Corbett. There's an E in there, right? I think so. This is free. You had me at hello. I'm just saying you had me at hello. So what happened was Jan Hicks was walking through her new LNS because she's in Texas now. And she found her new LNS and she was looking around and she was showing with her camera and I literally hit pause and went, wait, I need to know what this is. 
Well, luckily for me, the stitching was there with a little like plaque that said the name of the pattern. So I looked it up and someone had it up for free and I thought, oh no, can't be. And I looked at other sites and more sites and then found out it was a retreat piece. And so yeah, it's free. Now there are water lilies in it, which are a little pricey, let's be honest, um, and some beadings. So I'm sure I can find fabric and I'm sure I can do the DMCs of what I can. And my game plan is to save my pennies from the buy me coffees and I'm gonna buy all the Karen water lilies and the beads for her for next year because hello, she's gorgeous. Linda, don't focus on me. She's beautiful. And my mom loved Hawaii. That was her choice when she moved to the US from Japan. And even when she was sick and getting older, she wanted to go back to Hawaii. That was her favorite place in the world. So it's beautiful and I think it's perfect. So I'm gonna do it. So there's that one, it was free. Now, everything else that involves that makes it not free, but that's not the point. The point is, if you want her, you can find her. Her name's Leilani. I guess I should have told you that, huh? Perhaps. Her name is L-E-I, no, slow down. My hands and my mouth are both saying two different things. Hold on. L-E-I-L-A-N-I, -I -I, the hula, dancer from Miura. Just look it up on Google and you'll find all the different sites that have the rights to give this away for free. So there's that. But then, I don't even know what happened. Why was I even looking? I don't remember. Why was I looking for... Oh, I know why because, come on, blow it up, make it big, do your thing. Or not, technology and I, we do not get along. Please hold, go here, go here. Now will you show it? How many times do I have to click on this picture for you to give me the, there we go. My daughter Scarlett is a little obsessed right now with Harry Potter. To the point where she's learning the words to the theme song, which I didn't even know there were words. Apparently there's words and she knows them. She's been singing that song for the last week and I thought I have to do something, something. Harry Potter for her and this screams Scarlet. It's beautiful, it's bright, it's colorful. So that's for Scarlet. Full coverage, of course. Why would I do anything else? That's just crazy. And this, all the next ones I'm telling you about are on Etsy. The store name is Part Time Crafters Co. And that's where I got that from. The next one, my garage door is opening. I'm wondering if the boys are doing something in the garage. Turn on the bright is the name of the store. And I got two. Now this one, I'm a little surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I'm a little surprised. This one is as big as a um, super size from Hade. Heaven and Earth Designs. But I have to. It's all the Avenger movies. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This, $999. This, I think, is $749. It just said I don't need another super size, but I didn't look at the size before I bought it. It was seven seven dollars and nineteen cents because there's an eighty percent sale. Mm -hmm. So I bought that one. So I'm gonna be starting that one too because why not? 
I left the door open. Yeah. The door is cracked open for you. Mm-hmm. No, I feel you. I understand. Come on. No? She's thinking about it. The next one I bought was because, you know, it was recommended to me and I thought, oh, God, I have to. There we go. Scarlett's going to love that. It's the stained glass one. This one's also pretty big. And all that background is 310. I'm starting to think my cone is not going to be enough. I may need to order another one, but it's okay. I plan on doing all these tent stitches, so don't freak out. I'm not doing any full cross. I'm planning to do all um, tent. So if I can get 5,000 a week in full cross, there's hope. Maybe. The next ones I got were smaller and they're not full. Be surprised. They're not full. The, the name of that store was Turn On The Bright, just in case you're wondering. This one had the two in one. It was $7.40 from uh, N I K K I, Nikki Pattern. And I bought these more because of the sayings that are on them. Well, let's just blow this one up. Whoa, where'd you go? Dude, stop freaking out. Or not. Okay, I can't. Oh, wait, yes, I can. Smarter than the technology. Okay. There we go. So it's Harry Potter. I bought this for my son because the saying is really, it fits him. So this happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one remembers to turn on the light. The next one. Is for Scarlett. She is obsessed with everything Hermione right now and I'm okay with it. And this says I'm hoping to do do some good in the world and that fits Scarlett really well. So not full I mean blocks but not full so there's those two. I would say that's it but I'm pretty sure I said that's it. I don't know four months ago who am I? Who am I to say no mas? No, not happening. Okay. So there's the things I bought this week. But can we talk happy mail? Because I don't know what happened this week, but my mailbox exploded. And y'all are just, I can't even. I just can't even. I have to go here for Pattern Keeper. Please hold. No, I never remember how to show the photo. So my lovely friend, Okam, is stitching this one. And I had showed the husband this one. And the husband said, I really like that for the band room. And Okam said, I would love to buy it for you. What size do you want? And I thought, my band room is really naked. There's nothing in there. I mean, there is. We have some small posters stuff in there. But there's a lot of empty space, right? There's naked walls in there, people. I have to fill them. Not that we plan on living here that long, but the idea is there, right? Okay. And I said, well, if I'm going to do it, I might as well go for it and let's go super size, full color or max color. And she said, okay. And then sent me information saying, well, they don't have that one, but I've requested it. And I went, oh, no, 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 it's fine. I'd have gone with, you know, the regular size. She's like, no, no, it's too late. I've already requested it. It's done. I got an email the other day. Oh, can I get it all in there? Is that the reflection? No, no matter what I do, you're going to see reflection. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I think there's 250 colors in here. It is full size, so 999, I think by 749. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And I can't wait. 
cannot wait. So I'll probably do this one on 28, um, tent stitch as well. And it's just, I cannot, everywhere I look, there's something different. It's beautiful. So there's that from Ocom. Thank you so much. I know we've talked, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So that now means I have four gifts for next year and I'm excited to start them all. I'm so excited. And then let's go into the, the mail mail because, you know, when things get sent to me, I think, oh gosh, what did I order? Did I order something? I don't remember ordering anything. What did I do? I don't know. And then to find out, it wasn't me. <laughs> it was one of you. Let me see if I can drag all this out over here. Okay. So first, I want to talk about my good friend, Sylvia. Make sure I'm spelling her name right. And she has a new Etsy store. She's going to be doing these. I know that I need to order like 500 of them. I'm just saying. They're genius. Move them up slowly. And then explain. So you have the project tracker, right? I have the punch for these. It's the Happy Planner punch. And I'm gonna buy rings. I'm gonna make a book. And she sent me make sure I've got these right. Yeah. A few for starting 2020. And then she has another one that's 2021 and through 2023. These ones are through 22. And her and I have been talking and I've, I've asked personally for a request for her to just do calendars that continue from 22 on so 2023 on so that way I can just punch them in and slot them behind and I'm gonna use these for my hates because this genius I'm gonna highlight every day that I work on it so when I see a lot of naked spots I know I need to work on that. I need to fit it in somewhere to get work on it because I have a lot of projects coming next year and I don't want to forget about the ones I've already started so perfect so I am, oops, I dropped a card. Wait, wait, oh gosh. Okay, please hold. Does she have, yeah, so it's S-W-A-R-D-D-E-S-I-G-N-S. -D -D -E so S Ward Designs on Etsy. She's talking about selling them in a pack. Whoops. So if you don't have a printer, if you don't want to use your printer, She'll make them for you. And I think she's talking about possibly doing a PDF, PDF format as well. So if you want to print from home, you can. And I think I'm going to love these. I'm going to love these because yes. If you have any um, suggestions on what you'd like to see on the tracker or if she missed something, because I guess I should have explained. I'm not doing you a very good job, Selby. I'm sorry. So it says project name, the designer, the fabric, and any notes. Right here. Then start date, finish date, and how many days. She's also doing one. I have to remember. I have to remember. Because not everyone counts their stitches. Now, this isn't for counting. This is just for days, right? She has one that counts your hours, too. I know some people count their time versus how many days or how many stitches. I think these will work just fine for me though, because yeah, I, I don't know how many, I don't, I'm not sure I want to know how many hours I spend stitching. Could be bad. So I'm good with just knowing how many days. So there's that. Thank you so much. And I am so excited for, so excited for her new adventure and I know it's going to go well for her. I just, so if you're interested, just go check it out and see what you think. If you have any suggestions for her, let her know down below. I'll tell her to read the comments down here or I'll gather them together and I'll send them in an email for her. Um, please be kind. I don't have to say that very often because, well, 
my people rock. Just saying. I get to be a little braggadocious here because my peeps are pretty cool. So there's this. I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to order the PDF. I just know it because I need to print off like a thousand. I'm just saying. And I already have plans. I'm going to buy the little rings for that. And I'm, I'm just going to make a book and it's going to be fine. The next one I got was from Amy. Now I just talked about her in my go check out with the hang in with my peeps people. She sent me a card. I've never had one of these before. It's beautiful. And there's a beautiful little, um, I'm not sure if it's from this sampler. I don't think so. Maybe? No. I don't know. But there's a little project on the back and it says forget me not. It's beautiful. And she wrote me a really cool note. So sweet. And she sent me. Mm hmm. I can't get the glare off. The, every, there's just light everywhere in my room. Oh my gosh, you guys. Holy crap. Okay, first off, this is Rachel's fault. Rachel Ray, another peep of mine. Uh, check her out if you like diamond painting or stitching or knitting because she's into everything and she's freaking cool. She showed this, I think, like back in May and I wanted it and I couldn't find it anywhere and I got upset and then I found it on digital. What was it app called? I think the app was called Xeno, I think, and I bought it because I couldn't find it anywhere. So I bought it and I thought, oh, I really didn't want digital because I'd rather have this so I can scan it and then I can highlight where I need to, all the things, right? And Amy. So can we just talk about how many new projects I just added to my list for the magazines? Because yes, I'm gonna do a real quick flip to show you the ones that I have in mind that I'm gonna stitch. Not all of them, not all of them, no, no. Cause that's just crazy. Gorgeous. That's one of them. That that one's a maybe. Well, let's not show up the chart. Gee, such an amateur. I don't know what I'm doing. This one. I will probably do that one. Because that one actually reminds me of Mulan when she's sitting down and the women are like pulling at her hair, trying to get her all prettied up for the matchmaker. I don't know why, it just does. So that one's gorgeous. This one. Oh my gosh. She's beautiful. I love the colors. Beautiful. And I think most of these are from Leslie Tear. She's like, from what I've read, she's like the pro in the, the Asian department. She's beautiful. So there's that one. Are y'all counting? Don't, don't count. Don't count. Come on. Yes. I think my living room walls need to grow. Just, I just need a little more space. Just, just a little more. I don't, I don't know from where, but. Come on, we said we'd do this quickly. No, nope, none of the birds, not that one. She's pretty, but I don't like, I don't know what it is. I don't like her lips. But knowing me, I'll probably do her anyway, because she's beautiful. Not those, where are the koi's? Oh, this one. Because I need more black fabric in my life. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Okay. Scroll through. Scroll through. Not the, not those. Not the Chinese dragon. My husband is a Pisces, and he likes koi's. So, I'll be doing that one. So pretty. So pretty. I think I'm probably gonna do, I'm not sure, one of these. It has to have the cat. Because this was my mom's favorite. I actually have her old cookie jar, which I didn't know, but she hid her candy in there. It was supposed to be for her coffee, but she hid her candy in there. She was a diabetic, I'm just saying. I had no idea, but I have it now. 
so every time I see that cat I just start laughing and last thing is let me see if I can show this without showing this this oops this alpha I'm gonna put my mom's name in my mom's name was Yasuko so I'm gonna take her name and then I'm gonna put her uh, date of birth in small print on one side and then her date of death on the other side and I think it's gonna be really cute so yeah this is definitely gonna get used and loved a lot so thank you so much Amy thank you that I was in shock I saw the top and thought what the heck I did not join their um, subscription words Pfft, gone anyways I did not join them and I think they're the ones that are actually going out of business now which makes me super sad I think I think this is part of the I think it's the ultimate cross stitch and cross stitch crazy I think so there's those okay I think that was it for happy meal is that all I got it was crazy you guys spoil the heck out of me I'm just I'm still so I'm humbled is the best word I can come up with and just shocked and amazed that y'all share with me like you guys are just amazing just amazing and I can't I cannot say thank you enough I just can't thank you is too small of a word technically it's two words but they're still too small for how I feel I'm just saying I wrote notes are you proud of me they're a hot mess which is why I still don't know what order to do them in but that's fine um, so we went over the hanging with my peeps we talked about what I bought and we talked about um, things I got oh another thing oh my gosh let's talk color street real quick first off let me, okay, let me close up there so I don't lose my spot it's a little dirty but look at them this is boo crew and what you're not seeing is that these glow in the dark s'more is gonna hate me but it's gonna be funny it's gonna be hilarious last year she jumped out of the bed she was asleep next to me my hand must have moved and she jumped and she's staring me down right now um, but these are boo crew and they glow in the dark and they're super cute these are my last Halloween sets because Thanksgiving is here well coming I should say and I was able to get my hands on three. Now, one of them is mine. Oh, glare. Jeez Louise. Okay, Linda. I know. Don't shove it in your face. I got it. Here we go. These are turkey talk. No, talk turkey. Sorry. I can only give out two in my boxes, and I feel bad because I used to be able to order all the ones I wanted, and now I can't. I can only order three, and one is for me which I should say I'm glad that they jumped it up to three because before it was only two now there's three I can order three at a time so there's that turkey talk talk turkey I'm gonna get it wrong every time I know I am it's fine um so those are for next month um but okay see I totally forgot what we were talking about this is why I wrote down notes aren't you proud of me Are you proud of me I wrote down notes I'm not reading them very well but I wrote them down anyway um thanks to all of you and the fact that I have two people who are working with me, I'm not going to say their names because I don't know if they watch, it's not, it's private life, okay? Um, but because of all of you, I got my first badge. Oh, please show. Linda? There we go. You have no idea how much that means to me. It's a small thing, and it's simple, and it's, it's like a, a metal stone with the crystals in it. But this is the first time I've moved up to a senior stylist. God, I'm so excited. So now my goal, of course, is to get the next step to get the next badge. But that only happens if you have people who are um, working with you and sales. But that's okay. I'm not in any hurry. It took me two years to get that one, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm just excited that I finally got it. It's amazing. 
So thank you for all of your support in Color Street and for joining my gitch boxes. Links are always down below if you want to order just from the party for a few sets. Remember, they're always buy one, get one free. And um, the gitch box, which is my monthly subscription, is always down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask anytime. I'm willing to answer any questions I can. Keep in mind, I'm still, I can't say new because it's been two years, but I only have so much knowledge about it. So if you have a question and I don't know the answer, I ask other people and I find you the answer, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So there's that. So Color Street, I'm so, it sits right here in front of my fairy. <laughs> Which I got that for my sister-in-law, I think two years ago for Christmas. Oh, can you believe Christmas is almost here? What is up with that? It's crazy. Okay, do I have anything else? Yes, I had a couple of questions. Someone wanted to know how do I put my fabric into the Q-snap? So, that's the reason why I haven't worked on it yet. I thought I'd show you. A lot of people do it a lot of different ways, but I am the type of person, I don't leave my projects in the Q-snap. I'm always off, on, off, on. So, whoop. are you attached? Yes, you are. So I stitch in what's called stay, stitching in the ditch or stitching in the wall, which means my cue snap is on top of my fabric, like so, okay? Most people go the other way, right? So when you look at your back, whoops, I don't know how I'm demonstrating. I don't know what I'm doing. People work with me. So this is what your back looks like. Come here, like this. But I find it's hard when I'm trying to end a thread over here to end it because the cue snap is in my way, right? So I flip it. So it looks like this, but now my back is flat. Hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna try to show you how I do this. Now my cue snaps are made up. A lot of people do this and I've seen a lot of people who do this. I got my idea from Annie, who's Joy Filled Stitcher and she does the eight by 11. Is this eight by 11? I think it's eight by 11. So you buy the eight by eight and you buy the 11 by 11 and then you cross them. So. 11, 8, okay? So this is just me. I'm not a pro. Just remember that. Put my fabric on. Oops. Try to keep it straight. Doesn't always work. It's an eyeball thing. It's fine. For the first side, I just snap, right? Okay, when I flip to the other side, I pull a little bit tight, but not too hard. Let's see if I can do this, okay? So I give a little bit of a tug, but then when I put this side on, I don't put it here, I put it in the back. So here, okay? So you can see my fabric's kind of pushed in right here and then I twist. Well, I can't show you that way. So it's a little wiggly, right? So then I go to the top and just straight on, maybe. Stitches get a little poofy. There we go. So that goes straight on. The other side, I'll do the same. So, Oh geez, stay there. I don't go on top, I go back. Snip and pull. And that makes it pretty tight. I don't know if you can hear that, but that makes it pretty tight. Now I don't have to have my fabric super drum tight, but if you really like a tight fit, the best thing to do is underneath these, put in other fabric. 
So like, do I have anything that I can demonstrate with? Please hold. Just a regular piece of scrap fabric, right? Take this. Well, this is too big. It's okay. It's okay for demonstration. Put that on top and then do the same thing. So this goes towards the back. Pull it tight. Whoop. And that makes it even stronger. So now my fabric's not moving. Like over here, I have a little bit of give. Over here, I've got nothing. So felt, fabric, old t-shirts that you planned on throwing away or donating, cut those up and use them. And just put them underneath. And that's how you can make it really tight. So now it's, well, I have to take this off, but now that's ready for our stitch with me, because that's what I'm working on. So that's why I waited for that one. Um, but that's how I, that's how I use my cute snaps. I don't need them drum tight. Um, I've also noticed with my Lowry, because of the metal on the one side, when I tighten that, it seems to hold my, my Q-snap even better, like it doesn't move. So that works for me. Um, the other question I got was the fabric calculator. So I'm going to do this with you. I'm going to go to the Google, okay? Well, let me turn down my brightness. Go to the Google, right? And I'm going to type in fabric calculator and I got in fabric cal fabric cal as far as I got and it pops up right away right there so I'm going to click on that and the first one is yarn tree I go straight to that one and this get my face out of there is what it looks like so now with this when you're looking at it it can get a little confusing and I had asked people for help too so Please understand this is not my knowledge this is someone else's knowledge that I've learned from them um, so it'll say what is your graph size so for me I'm gonna go with one of my big ones okay just to give this example so I know my stitches on one side are 999 wide so I'm gonna type in 999 okay my stitches high is 750 Linda, thank you. My fabric count is going to be 28. If I could do this without constantly, maybe I can. Okay. So 28 count. And this right here is what tripped me up last time. So threads each X covers. If you're doing ADA, it's one. If you're doing like a 32 count and you're doing it over two, that's where you need to change that number. But because I'm doing 28 over one, I'm going to leave it. And here is where you get your border. So top and bottom. I only do a two inch border. Whoops. Deleted the whole thing. Just kidding. 750, 28, one. I only do a two inch border. So I only put a two in on one spot. It doesn't matter which one, just pick one. There's that. Calculate. So what I need is 35 and Linda, you good? Let me, oh geez Louise, focus there for a minute. 35 and 5 eighths wide by 26 and 3 fourths high. Am I reading that right? That's six, not nine. Okay. Then I need my fab. So this is my, the top line is your stitch count what area your stitches will be on. The next one tells you your area of stitches, including your border. So now I go to 39 and a half by 31. The suggestion for my needle size is 26. And I never look at the bottom half, so I don't know what that is. Using one strand of floss for stitching and one strand of floss for back stitching. So that's how that works. I use this all the time because I can't math, right? So I use this all the time. This is my go-to. Now, I, Michelle, Michelle Bendy Stitchy just did, um, was it one of her Stitch With Me videos? Shoot, I can't remember. She's put up a lot of videos lately. I can't remember if it was Stitch With Me or a Floss Tube, but in one of them, she talks about how she knows mentally how to break down the numbers. 
So if you're stitching, I think it's like if you're stitching on a 28 count, she makes this look so easy. I can't remember the math. It's super easy and I know it's easy, but I can't ever remember it. And that's why I don't use it. That's why I use my handy dandy calculator. So that's how I use the calculator on the Google. I tried to save it as an app, but when I saved it as an app, it doesn't save as the calculator. It saves as the store. So there's that. Um, but I just Google it every time. I, I literally put in fab and it shows up because I use it so often. Um, so those were the two questions that I, well, three, three questions that I had. Is that it? I think that's it. I'm going to show you at the last minute. Um, I had no knitting because toe. I'm not, I'm not ready. Um, I didn't knit on the boys or crochet on the boys blanket, but you guys. Whoa, whoa, things are falling. You're okay, Smore. You're okay. I started a new one. Can you tell? The color's bright. I'm using Mandala by Lion's Brand. And it's called Troll. I, for some reason, decided I wanted to, to use this for a mandala blanket. Let's see if I can show it all in there. It's beautiful. Can you see all the texture? Everything's popping off. So, I am now at the, quote, end of the blanket, and now I just have to do the same repeats around and around until I get to the size I want. But, that's it. It's beautiful. And all I did was use one ball. This is my second ball. I just got into it. So, there's that. Stay. Um, the last thing I want to talk about. Oh shoot, I didn't mention the joint, uh, the, no, no, slow down. I didn't mention the buy me a coffee down below. So I'll try to see if the husband can either put the little bar here or maybe early in the video. I don't know. But the coffee link is always down below. The exciting news and the nervous news is I have to go make a video for my join members. Mm -hmm. Because the hubby and I got everything set up. We've already been approved, we're ready to start. So if you made it this far, you get the, the secret preview of what's to come. Are you ready? Because oh, I cannot believe I'm doing this. I'm so excited. And it's because of all of you that I'm even doing this because this is just, you guys have given me the opportunity to, to do this. So we have the join button. It'll start November 1st. So it's a fresh month and everything's starting like from the new, right? There's going to be um, three tiers, so $199, $499, $999. The first one, you're going to get the badges and the emojis that we made from the bit emojis. So hopefully you don't mind my face because that's what they all are. <laughs> and it's with things that I say all the time. True story, random, um, L -O, or I think it's LMAO really and I forgot what the other badge was I don't remember but there's four of them and the more members I have the more emojis I'll be able to make so that's super exciting the second tier or well the first one is going to be you get the badges the emojis and pictures so every day hold me to it because we both know I can't remember anything um Every day I plan in the morning to put up my starting photo of what I'm working on. And then before I go to bed, I'll put my night photo and how many stitches I got in for the day. Some days may be a thousand, some days may be five, but you will know exactly how many stitches I put in for the week every day. The second tier is going to be all of that. Plus I'm going to give random videos. And what I mean by random videos is it could be I have no idea. I have no idea what time length I'm putting on them. Like if I'm putting a restriction on it, it could be sewing. It could be me getting back to the resin. It could be another stitch with me. It could be crocheting. It could just of my family. I don't know. I have no idea. They're going to be random. I don't even know what's going to happen. I have no idea, but you're going to get two a month. 
and then the last one is all of that plus two lives a month. I'm saying two lives a month because I want, fingers crossed, for this tier and this tier to alternate. So one week you'll get the random, who knows what's happening, but you'll get a piece of my life. And then the next one will be alive, then the next will be random, the next will be live. But we both know life can get crazy. So on the rare occasion that I have to bunch them together, I might have to do a random and a random to get in the live and the live. Does that make sense? So two randoms, two lives. Two randoms here, two lives here. That's my plan. And I'm so excited. Thank you so much for encouraging me and for telling me to go for it. Because like I said, it's because of you, my peeps, that I feel safe enough to do it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense at all? I hope it does. I'm fangirling over all of you. So thank you so much for all of your support, all of your love, all of the spoiling of me this year. I mean, you guys are fantastic. And I just have to let you know in a little secret. My peeps are the best. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's kind of like a mom being proud of her kid. I'm just saying. I have the best people. So thank you so much for your continued support and for continuing to support me and encourage me to keep going. Because even on my bad days, someone will comment on something and it just brings a smile to my face. And it just makes the whole day better and brighter. So thank you so much for staying with me, continuing with me on this crazy journey and looking at all the different routes that I'm taking and different roads that I'm on and you are all on it with me and encouraging me to keep going. On that note, I'm going to bid you adieu. Say farewell. Stay random. Don't kiss your projects and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.